It's 10 trivia questions on musician alter egos. Can you name the musician when given their alternate title? This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. Thanks for leaving iTunes reviews. And thanks for supporting the show on Etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds. Lots of cool stuff on there to buy from coffee mugs to pins to keychains to sweatshirts and more. And adding some new Willy Wonka designs uh, for some different things. Maybe a tote bag, maybe a blanket. So uh, go check that out. It's linked in all the show notes. And you can see that website at Etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds anytime. Today's episode's on musician alter egos, and we'll give you the name of the alter ego. You tell me which musician it matches up with. But before we get to that, we have this game that I was talking about on yesterday's episode. It's called Things They Don't Teach You in School. So here's four things they don't teach you in school. Although I think I remember learning this in school, the first one. <laughs> what is the salary of the U.S. president? How much does the U.S. president make? The answer is... Your next question, in addition to fingerprints and teeth, what part of our body is so individually unique that an impression of it can be used for identification? That would be your tongue. Your tongue is very unique. Your third thing here, what country has the highest consumption of beer per person per year? That is the Czech Republic. I have read that before as well, the Czech Republic. And the fourth item, can an astronaut call someone on Earth with their cell phone from space? says no there's too much interference from the ship and a million other things so there you go there's some four fun facts for you from things they don't teach you in school a game i got for christmas for my in-laws we're going to jump into today's episode on musician alter egos right now here we go it is musician alter egos name the real person from the alter ego number one ziggy stardust number one ziggy stardust Number two, Chris Gaines. Number two, Chris Gaines. Number three, Sasha Fierce. Number three, Sasha Fierce. Number four, Percy Thrills Thrillington. Percy Thrills Thrillington. Number five is just Camille. Number five, Camille. Number six, Slim Shady. Number six, Slim Shady. Number seven, Roman Zelansky. Roman Zelansky. Number eight, Machiavelli. Machiavelli. Number nine, Childish Gambino. Number nine, Childish Gambino. And number 10, Macfisto. M A C P H I S T O. Macfisto. Your bonus here is for two points, Duke Silver. Duke Silver. Those are all your questions for Musician Alter Egos. We'll be back with the answers to see if you got them all right after this noise. We are back with Musician Alter Ego answers. Did you get them all correct? Let's find out. Number one, Ziggy Stardust is, of course, the uh, Thin White Duke. David Bowie. David Bowie. Number two, Chris Gaines. Garth Brooks had that alter ego in the uh, mid to late 90s for some reason. Number three, Sasha Fierce is Beyonce. Beyonce Knowles, number three. Number four, Percy Thrills Thrillington is Paul McCartney. And I've never heard that once in my life. I'm not a huge Beatles fan, but I've never heard Percy Thrills Thrillington or seen it in print in all my 36 years. But maybe you have and you knew it was Paul McCartney. Number five, Camille is Prince. Don't know that one either. Camille, C A M I. L-L-E, and Prince. Number six, Slim Shady, Eminem, Marshall Mathers. Number seven, Roman Zelansky is Nicki Minaj. And number eight, Machiavelli is Tupac. 
Number nine, Childish Gambino is Donald Glover from Community in Atlanta. And number 10, Macfisto, maybe it's just Muffisto, maybe the C is silent, is Bono. And I do remember that from the early 90s because my brother was really into U2. And it was the Octoon Baby Zoo TV era around that time. And uh, he had like devil horns and white face paint on. Bono. And the bonus, two points, Duke Silver is the fictional alter ego of Ron Swanson on Parks and Rec. And he is the uh, saxophone player in Pawnee, Indiana. And there you have it, a bunch of alter ego musicians for you on today's episode. Hope you had fun figuring those out. Uh, Your fact of the day is about a musician. It's about Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran bought a ticket to L.A. with no contacts at one point. He was spotted by Jamie Foxx, who offered him the use of his recording studio and a bed in his Hollywood home for six weeks. So that's pretty nuts. Ed Sheeran befriended by Jamie Foxx when he knew no one, whenever that was. I would guess mid-2000s. All right, that is today's episode. A nice short one. Hope you had fun. And uh, we've got a great one coming up for you tomorrow. Make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. It'll be a good one. Don't miss it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.